Hello, I'm Colin and here are today's headlines from Pink 60. The Institute for Canadian Values has run an ad in the National Post urging adults to stop confusing children by teaching them about gay and transgender people. The paper's manager of ad sales says they had received a number of complaints and would not run the ad in future. In a recent Spanish study, researchers found that 22 out of 24 people developed an immune response to HIV after being given a vaccine known as MVAB. If successful in the future, HIV could be no more serious than herpes is today. Retired basketball player John Amici has launched a new initiative backed by Barclays Bank and the THT aimed at African people living in the UK. The initiative aims to give people the skills to set up and run local HIV prevention and treatment workshops. Legendary rock group REM released their final album next month, described as a definitive greatest hits compilation. It follows the shock announcement that the band are going their separate ways after 31 years together. And finally, the Rewind 80s Music Festival hits Australia this month for a weekend of live retro music from my own favourite decade. Banana Rama, Sister Sledge and Kim Wilde are amongst many performers appearing at Blue Scope Field, Wollongong on October the 28th and 29th. That's all from us today. Join us again tomorrow.